Okay, so I was recording some videos for my courses on React testing library, but I have to talk about this. Um, I often get emails from course platforms asking them to have my courses on their platforms. But usually these platforms are pretty stupid or not being used or very low ranking and uh, no one is really using these courses so they're actively trying to find course instructors to publish their courses on but let's try and take a look at this one because it's really ridiculous okay um so they talk about blah 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 blockchain uh whatever blockchain and talks about okay one of our english tutors got more than 3,600 enrollments in just four days. The enrollment number to our course reached 22,000 in one month. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this site and this course, okay? Okay, so here's the page that they link to. So it is a Turkish course. Sizin bu dili öğrenmek için kaç saat harcadığınız, hangi okulda okuduğunuz veya hangi kitapları kullandığınız değil de günün sonunda ben de size o şekilde yani bütün dünyanın öğrendiği. Okay, so that is nasıl anlayacağım ben bunu? 1 p.m. Wednesday go past. Family light. Hello, Miss Jenkins. Cümle nasıl yapılır? Daughter in law. I'm ready now. Sela. Okay, so this is a course for Turkish speaking people. It's actually high quality. It's uh, well produced. Um, so it's a good quality. It looks like the production quality is good of the course, but there's just some things that doesn't really add up here. Okay, so the course is, first of all, $99. And, you know, don't mind this discount here. It's probably always $99 uh, discount, but if not, it's $200. And now if you look up, let's see what the average monthly salary in Turkey is. Average salary in Turkey. Let's say monthly salary. And uh, something like 3200 uh, Turkey try, whatever that means, which is about 400 dollars. I some I think some other site says 1000 dollars. A person working in Turkey typically typically earns about 8000 try, so that's about. $1,000, okay? Now, he says that they had 3,600 enrollments in just four days and 22,000 in one month. I think it's pretty hard to find 22,000 Turkish speaking people in one month who wants to pay $100 for one course given the average salary in that country. I'm not saying everyone in Turkey earns one thousand dollars. There are some people who earn more than that, um, but I just think it's unlikely with the, you know, the standard of living there is in Turkey or the, the wage we have in Turkey. Okay, so that's like warning number one. So warning number two is the ratings we have down here. Okay, so this is two thousand and seventy people have individually rated this course as a five-star course. 18 people rated it as four. No one rated it anywhere else. Now, that's statistically, that's sort of very unlikely to happen. If we take a look at Udemy, let's take a look and let's see what courses we have here. Something like the same numbers. Um, here we have about 2,000 people who wrote it. Uh, let's take this one, software testing, masterclass, whatever. Uh, 1,000 ratings, 
4.4. Let's see. And here we have something that's a little more normal. We have 46% voting five stars and 38% voting four stars and so on, so on, so on. That's normal, okay? That's normal. Uh, like that, that's how a course is usually rated. Even if it's a really good course, some people are gonna say it's four stars because there was a little thing about it that kind of annoyed them and so on. Okay, there's not going to be 2,070 people out of <laughs> 2,088 people who is going to say this is a five-star course. Okay, that's warning sign number two. Now, warning sign number three is that the profile pictures here of the people here are stock photos. Okay. So if I search Google for this image, well, how, how, what do we do? We have here Healthline using this as a stock photo, um, other sites using it as a stock photo. Why would a user have a stock photo of a girl as their profile picture? Well, I can only see one reasonable explanation for that. And let's see this guy here. He is apparently also just a stock photo that is being used heavily around the world. She also kind of looks like a stock photo. Uh, this guy, maybe him. Yeah, stock photo. Nay. No, that's another girl. Sorry. But um, yeah, this guy is a stock photo too. Oh, well, he's probably been taken. Website designs seems like someone is using him. So stock photos also crazy ratings and price that just doesn't match like what you can reasonably expect from the country you're advertising to. Um, okay, another thing is also the Alexa rating. Okay, so this is my website's Alexa rating. This is a website that I hardly ad advertise at all. I have a few YouTube links to it. That's it. This site has the rank of this number here. It's not a good rank, okay? This site, which has 22,000 people in one month from Turkey, has a rank of this. So it's a worse rank than my own site, which definitely doesn't have 22 thousand people signing up and buying a course for a hundred dollars in one month. So uh, if you're a course creator, then I would suggest that you are critical of people reaching out to you to advertise their course platform. Don't waste time on it. Stick to the big ones like Linda, Pluralsight and Udemy. I mostly just stick to Udemy. I'm, I really haven't gone to any other places, but Definitely don't spend your energy that you could be spent making courses on, you know, trying to make some course platform, get some content so they can try and get some, uh, get some subscribers. You can see there's another course here, I think from a genuine person who tried to sign up, uh, no zero enrollment, <laughs> enrollments, no enrollments at all. So. Yeah, this one also, this, I don't know. I hope they paid her to put content here, but um, she doesn't seem to have any enrollments. What about this guy? That's another English course. He thought, oh yeah, someone bought all her English courses and he got 19 enrollments so far. But he does have a lot of five stars, it seems. Maybe they made those also.